Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Hollow, and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today, what I got for you guys is another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 best class setup video. Today, we're going to be talking about the CUDA SMG. Now, quickly before I start into this class setup, down in the description below, I have a playlist of all the previous best class setup videos I've made for Black Ops 3. If you guys check out that playlist and you do not see the weapon that you were looking for or just a weapon that you're also interested in, aside from this one, make sure to comment that weapon in the comment section below as I will try my hardest to bring you guys a best class setup video a day until we cover every single weapon in this game so comment the weapons down in the comment section below now also do keep in mind these class setups that i give you are completely completely customizable this is just kind of like a base foundation of what i use you guys can somewhat tweak it to your liking so anyways getting straight into this class setup here obviously we have the primary weapon which is a cuda smg which by the way it is it is so damn good this weapon is so good it's probably the most well-rounded smg at the moment just because it's good up close it's not as good as the vmp up close but it's good up close really Really good enough to you know if you're good enough you can take out a vmp and it's really good medium and even sometimes long ranges like it's it's a good damn smg it really is and it was getting into the attachments for the cuda we have either the reflex or the eld if you guys have either or go with the eld i promise you guys the eld takes out the reflex out of the water it, it really does it's just more clear nicer cuter prettier whatever the hell you guys want to call it i love the eld side if you guys don't have it work your ass for it leveling up weapons in this game actually is quite easy so the eld you unlock it around level 13 on your weapon or something and it's definitely definitely worth it so attachments we got the grip reduced recoil while aiming down sight we know that now for the next one you can either go with suppressor or long barrel or quick draw that's all depends on you if you guys don't like using suppressor and you kind of like to rush a little bit go with quick draw if you guys like to play passive but don't want a suppressor go with the long barrel take out the suppressor go with the for uh, with the foregrip and the long barrel if you guys want to do it how i do it which is i kind of rush a little bit but i like to be a little bit stealthy especially with smgs because you know sometimes smgs are not the greatest at medium to long range even though this weapon is in particular but sometimes it's going to be a lot more difficult for you guys to take out an ar from a long range so i like to be a little bit sneaky take opponents from close and then kind of work my way into the uh, you know enemy spawns and things like that so that's why i run grip and suppressor you guys can try it as well but again these classes are customizable to your liking here we have the secondary no secondaries no lethals no tacticals for perk ones we got six cents six cents it actually lets you know when there's an enemy nearby it'll do like a little noise and it'll show you on the mini map like a little red glow so it kind of tells you when there's somebody behind you next to you it's actually a very overpowered perk and i really really do like it now you guys can go with your six cents or ghost it all depends i like six cents because i have headsets so ghost i kind of really don't need it so much it's a really good perk but i really don't need it and i'll tell you guys why now the perk two we have here is fast hands swap weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting i would say the fast hands is a crunch perk for the perk two tier i really do because aiming down the site after sprinting i think is very very important to me and just being able to swap we weapons is very important just because i don't have scavenger in this class setup sometimes i like to pick up weapons as soon as i get a kill and i see that guy had a good weapon i'll pick up that weapon just so i can have a, a backup secondary because i don't have secondaries and i don't have scavengers so i really can't re-up on my ammo because of course i don't have scavenger so now moving down into the last and final perks here we have awareness and dead silence why do i have these two guys i have awareness and silence because i have headsets if you guys do not have headsets you don't need this if you guys don't have headsets you can just simply go with um you know blast suppressor that way you you're not detected on the mini map when you use your thrust jumps or you guys can probably just go with awareness as well but you, you know you're just not going to be able to hear the surround sound of the footsteps and things like that so you're just basically going to hear footsteps but you're not really going to know where they're coming from but it'll still give you kind of like a good foundation of you know that there's somebody nearby so that in combination with six cents is pro probably one of the reasons why i don't use ghost for this class setup in general perk three has a lot of a lot of good perks you know so blast suppressor is a good perk awareness is a good perk and dead silence is a good perk and even in this game tactical mask is a good perk because the game the tacticals in this game are insane they're extremely overpowered and they're really really good so you can even use that but if you don't want to you can just use the class setup as i have it if you guys have a good pair of headsets this should be golden if you don't blast suppressor you know you could trade blast suppressor for awareness and leave dead silence and blast suppressor or just have one perk and then choose you know ghost and six cents for the perk one all up to you guys it's completely completely customizable this is how i like to run my class setup okay this is how i like it you guys can try this way or do just whatever the hell you guys want to do but anyways now moving down into the score streaks here i'm actually going to give you guys my score streaks not very crazy just uav counter uav and hardened 
sentry. Um, I like to use this just because I can resupply on my score streaks very fast and just recycle on them. And I constantly, constantly have score streaks. I just got the hater, which is basically the same thing as a VSAT, so I need to start using that. But I didn't have it before, but I'm gonna start now. If you guys can get high streaks, just go with this UAV, counter UAV, and hardened sentry, or even lightning strike or hellstorm. It's good like that. And of course, if you guys can get higher streaks, you can probably, you know, go a little bit higher in the uh, in the score streaks. So let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this class setup. It is a very, very solid class setup. You can challenge SMGs, you can challenge anything, ARs, anything, even snipers. Obviously, you gotta, you know, be quick with snipers. You can't just, you know, go head on with a sniper because you probably die. Anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this class setup. Let me know down in the comments if you guys get to use it, if you guys change anything in this class setup. And thank you again for tuning back into my channel. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoyed, drop a like for me, guys. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bounce only by frozen memory.